Yo, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. We'll have to excuse the background noise. Today we're doing another how-to on how to war. Uh, this is a very specific and focused one on locking down the town center. So we are in war. This is my minor account, Tyler, British gunpowder age account. <clears throat> we are in war against, well, these guys. Let's go ahead and scout some people here and see if we can't go ahead and give you an example of what locking the town center entails. When I refer to locking the town center, I mean dropping a sabotage down or staying out of the range uh, so that the town center troops don't pop out and actually nail all your troops. Uh, certainly it is a uh, a skill that even I work on, that Marla works on, that everybody within the community, I think, works on. Uh, and occasionally it does happen that things pop out. So, the range on the town center troops popping out, and those are your donated troops within war or outside of war, anything that you get do donated to you. Quite typically in war, you'll find that it's a howitzer and artillery or mortar guys or gatlins or... British ranged or Korean ranged troops. There's lots about that on the forums as far as uh, how well they perform. So the range on the actual town center popping is in between three and four and there's a zero spawn time meaning that uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. From this corner here you've got one, two, three and from this corner here you would have one two three so if we were to do that and actually draw ourselves a little circle in and around there it means that if you were to rally for instance anywhere on this base in here let's say that's where your first rally was in order to take out this town center what would end up happening is that those troops would pop right out. Uh, so when you lock it down and how you do that is by using a sabotage. So from your drop point obviously you want to uh, you know go ahead and pick what you wanted to sabotage and it's a timing thing. So how do you get better with the timing of these things? One it's important to note the range as to when these things will pop out. Uh, during your regular scouting, I would strongly suggest that you keep an eye out as to what that range is. Uh, second of all, during your attacks, it is beneficial to actually note and practice watching your clock. Uh, let's get over to my tactics. So I've got a level level. I've got a level three sabotage. Uh, it lasts for 16 seconds. Thus, to mean when I start my attack whether it be a looting attack, which we're going to go ahead and just do now, or any other type of attack, we want to note how far away that town center is and what the duration is so that we can actually coincide the two, giving our troops the maximum amount of time to take out the town center before anything happening. So the activation range on this guy's here would be all the way out. It would be out here. So if I pick a drop point of here, in all likelihood, those town center troops would actually pop right out. Let's move on to the next one. So, with this gentleman's, it would be just past here. And likely just past here. And on the other side, just past here. Each of these buildings being three. So that's your circle for the town center popping, if there was anything in there. So I would note that I would have to actually drop my troops, put down the sabotage, and actually kill the town center before that 16 seconds ran out. Now you'll note a lot of these bases have the town center well exposed and right on the edge. So you know that if you're dropping right here, if there's anything in there, it's going to come out and kill you right away. Not likely on this one because his, tra his traps have actually been popped. And you may happen upon this in war, where your drop point is right within that range. Um, and it gives you zero time to actually go ahead and uh, sabotage it after the fact. 
That's what I mean by zero spawn time. Again, this guy's traps have all been sprung, so as a result, not likely to have anything in his town center. Uh, an enlightened base, 125. Again, same same kind of story or scenario here. Now, I don't see any of this gentleman's traps having been popped, um, but I can count this out and I know that his activation range is going to be somewhere out here. So, if I wanted to actually do that in order to attack this guy, I would have to sabotage first, and then I would go ahead and start my drop and get all my troops down. And we'll get my donated troops there. And that's well within that 16 seconds. So that's right when my sabotage ran out. It was at 314, because that was the start of my attack. We'll go ahead and sabotage those three. We'll see if we can't go ahead and kill that. Throw a protect down on my troops. We got one sabotage left, but I've also got a couple of little fusiliers here in order to try and distract that. I'm not sure how well that's going to work. Nine, eight. And as well, it's important to note when your rallies are available. So thus to mean, I know if I sabotage this right now, I can go ahead and force target it without actually having to wait for my rally to become available, allowing me to take out that mortar right away. And that works well for your mortars or the town center as well if you're in a sticky situation you can force target uh, in order to gain that quick victory however it is not recommended to do so you're better off doing a point rally for taking out the town center and a forced rally is really only beneficial um, for mortars or things that are hard to reach Stop killing my stuff! Now, being that this guy's enlightened, um, 125, he's got a lot of stuff there, but I'm hoping I can just walk away with his food. Obviously, I can't collect his oil. My little 19 shooters seem to be doing their job there. So I'd call that successful. You know, we got the quick victory, we've got... Two stars from that. The third star, of course, being from the 50%. Now, let's see if we can get over here. Maybe we can even work our way into getting the 75%. We've got about a minute left. I'm not sure if my troops are going to last that long. But those 19 seem to be holding their own. Oh, see, and that readout's going to play into that as well. Let's get some cleanup started down here. I bet you if we got that one, and he does have the Acropolis too, that would probably account for why there's so many troops spawning out of there. He's got a lot of buildings actually right within range of his Acropolis, so... 66. I don't think we're going to make the 75 for that fourth star. Let's see how much of a percentage that changes on the uh, on the Acropolis. That was only 2%. Alright. We're going to leave that at 68%. Lost all my troops. We managed to get what I came for, which is 346,000 food. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future how-tos, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. As always, if you like this video, click like and subscribe down below. And keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time.